Hello everyone. My name is Joseph Bimbo Akinjo Konya. Welcome to the Light of Life. There's a common saying out there that God can use anybody to accomplish his purpose on earth. While that may be true to a certain extent, it is very important as children of God for us to know that that is not always the case. There are certain times that only specific kinds of people can be used by God to accomplish certain key assignments in his purpose for men. Take for instance, who else would have been able to put Joseph in a position to have enough resources and authority to preserve the life of all the children of Israel that came to meet him from the land of Canaan, if not Pharaoh the king? Who would have been able to reverse the evil scheme that Haman had when he wanted to wipe out all the Jews, if not Ahasuerus the king? Who is that person that would have been able to give the proper authority and backing to Nehemiah when he wanted to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, if not the king? Who would have been able to restore all the things that were taken from the family of Saul and Jonathan back onto Mephibosheth, if not David the king? Who would have been able to authorize the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ, if not Pilate, a ruler in the land of Israel at that point in time. You see, there are many things that many people can accomplish in the lives of the children of God. But there are certain specific assignments that require the authority of the king before they can be accomplished. This is why it is very important that you and I as children of God know how to relate with kings or people in authority if the purpose of God for our life is going to be fulfilled the way we want them or even God himself has ordained that it should be fulfilled. How then as children of God should we relate with kings? The first is that we must be prayerful. What do I mean? If you remember before Esther would appear before the king, she spent time appearing before the king of kings. Why? Because the Bible tells us that the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord like the course of a river. He directs it wheresoever he wills. There is a king that is higher than the king above men, and that king rules in the affairs of men. Therefore, if you are going to appear before this king, you should know how to appear before the one that is higher than him, the one that has his heart in his hands that can direct it wherever he wills. It is important that we do this because God knows how to give us favor with kings. Therefore, we must invest in prayer and spending time before the king of kings before we appear before the king above men. Secondly, we must know what it means to be adaptable. When Joseph was going to appear before Pharaoh, the Bible tells us that he shaved himself and wore good clothes. Why? Before anybody would appear in front of Pharaoh the king, that person has to shave because birds is considered an abomination in front of the children of Egypt. Their kings do not tolerate it. Joseph understood this and therefore he made himself adaptable to appear before the king. You cannot just appear before the king anyhow just because you have prayed. There's a dress code. There's a way to appear before the king if you truly want favor. The Bible tells us that even after Esther prayed, she wore very good clothes, beautiful clothes before she went to appear before the king despite the fact that she was queen. So, adaptability is very important. The third is that we must be strategic. God gave a message to Nathan to go and give unto David after David had sinned before God. When Nathan appeared before David the king, he first of all told him a story. Hiding the truth in something that is like a parable. And after David had received that message and even passed out the judgment, Nathan revealed to him 
that the person in the story was actually the king himself. Nathan was the king's friend. Nathan was a prophet. He had a message from God, but he was strategic in his presentation of it. If we're going to appear before kings, we must be strategic with our message. If we truly want them to accept it, we should not be obnoxious just because God has given us a message for rulers. We must present it in such a way that they will be able to receive it. The last point is that we must prepare ourselves. Joseph told his brothers the right words to say when he was bringing them before Pharaoh. The Bible tells us also that Nathan prepared Bathsheba in the book of 1 Kings chapter 1. She knew what she was going to say because Nathan had schooled her properly and she went in unto the king and said those exact words and then she got what she wanted. It is very important that we learn how to prepare ourselves to speak the right words when we appear before the king. All these four are things that we must keep at the back of our minds if we truly want to get the kind of results that we desire when we appear before the king. We must not just fear God, we must also honor the king. We must be prayerful, we must be adaptable, we must be strategic, we must also prepare ourselves so that the purpose of God for our lives can be accomplished. I have brought this forth to you today, hoping that you will ponder on them. And it is my prayer that as you do so, the Almighty God will give you grace in the name of Jesus. You will find favor before kings and he will be able to accomplish his purpose through you on earth here. God bless you and have a fruitful day in the name of Jesus. Amen.